it's a horrible situation. Uh, we are, all of us are really shocked with this invasion, this aggression, uh, which Putin has, uh, has started earlier this week. We see, we see every day this uh, dramatic pictures from Ukraine and uh, we really devastated with this. And, um, and that's why we started to talk to FIFA that uh, we expressed our concerns regarding our upcoming playoff match against Russia. We did it the first letter we sent to them uh, last Tuesday, no response. Then we sent another letter on Thursday. It was the common statement of the federations of Poland, Sweden and the Czech Republic and no feedback at all. And we started to discuss the things with our players. And uh, yesterday uh, we have decided, it, even during the night, we have decided that we will announce that uh, in current circumstances uh, with the aggression of Russia to Ukraine, uh, we are not uh, going to play uh, with Russia at all. It's not about the neutral venue. Uh, we don't want to play with them. And um, because the, the escalation of the violence is getting higher and we can't imagine uh, that we are stand on the pitch, we are listening to the international anthem and it's against our values and everything. Uh, so we know the consequences, but we think that uh, the consequences should be targeted in somebody else, not, not, not for us. People say sport and politics don't mix. This, this statement from the Polish FA you know, could involve considerable loss of income for the Polish FA. The, the players, some players maybe give up the chance of never playing at a World Cup. There's obviously yes, something bigger. Yes, yes, it's, it's, I agree with you, but you know, football is not everything. And as I told you, the consequences are uh, no important to us. And the consequences should be borne to by someone else, not us. And when we see this tragedy, tragedy and the brutal Russian invasion to Ukraine, which is still happening, and the international football bodies stand idle, uh, so the consequences are irrelevant. And uh, we think that our decision is the only right decision. And uh, the players understand it. And the players express their concert, concern as well. And uh, none of them uh, think that it is possible to play such a match. And uh, uh, for instance, our goalkeeper, Wojciech Szczęsny, his wife is Ukrainian, uh, so his son is half Ukrainian. And uh, he expressed uh, his thoughts very strict, in the very strict way today on his uh, Instagram account. Uh, one of our players, uh, he used to be the player of Dynamo Kiev. And uh, we were in touch with him since a few days, since a couple of days. And he, what we heard from him, it was terrified. So now we started to organize uh, for him um, help uh, to bring him home here, here to Poland. So I think he's on the way to Poland now. And we hope that everything will go uh, in a safe way. And he will, be, he will cross the border in the couple, next couple of hours. In, just in terms of the statement, did the, was it an, an internal meeting by the Polish FA? Were the players involved in the meeting or, or how was the deci decision made? Uh, yesterday in the afternoon, the, uh, Robert Lewandowski, our captain, he started to call and to talk to the other uh, players from the national team. And they exchanged their thoughts about the situation. Then I was in contact with the players. I spoke with some of them. And uh, later in the night, even, we started to talk with the president of the Polish FA, with the members of the board. And we have decided that uh, today we will announce the, our final decision. Uh, it's a common decision of the federation and the players that uh, we don't intend to play the match with Russia and um, with uh, every, uh, every consequences, which we are aware of it. It, it seems, you know, 
like a, a small decision by uh, someone in, in world sport, but it, it almost kind of provides hope that sport can have an impact on, on, on global affairs. Yeah, it's, it can be uh, perceived like that, yes, by many people. And uh, so far, the football bodies, international football, football bodies, they, I don't know if maybe they were afraid or they didn't want to make a uh, harsh decision. And uh, so far, their decision were a little bit soft, especially FIFA, uh, because so far they, uh, we think that they don't see what is going on uh, in Ukraine. And, and it's, it's a war, it's not a conflict, it's a war. And the Ukraine was attacked by the other country. And, uh, you know, it's that's why we decided to say in loud, uh what was uh, what other uh, institution were afraid to say uh, in loud and uh, we hope so that uh, it will be our voice will be her will be her uh, in the world and we hope that uh, other federations will back up us and we count on the solidarity of the of the of the world and other other association do you hope other associations will stand by you? Yes, especially the Swedish and the Czech Republic, yes, because we are on the same path in the playoffs. So it could be good if we say in the same way, yeah, if, if our position will be the same. And uh, it's not it's not about the sport, to be honest, uh, these days. It's, it's more about the solidarity with the Ukraine and put some pressure on the, not only on the, sport environment but for, from the financial point of view to put a lot of pressure to russia because what is going on at the moment it's uh it's it's a tragic finally um Jacob, th thank you very much for your time just you mentioned uh, a polish player that uh, the polish fa have been in, in contact with in the ukraine um who is the player and and do you know any any detail uh, you mean our player? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Tomasz Kędziora. He used to be, uh, he is still the player of Dynamo Kiev. And uh, he lives uh, in Kiev. And uh, we know that he's on the way at the moment uh, to reach the Polish border. And we ask for help uh, the government. And we know that the uh, consulate of Poland in Ukraine, uh, which still runs, in Lviv uh, is taking care of him and we hope that he will be able to cross the border uh, in the next couple couple of hours and um, just you mentioned um you know you you hope this decision will will continue with other federations and maybe even you know UEFA or FIFA do you is there anything you'd like to see happen you know it's uh we would like to see the you know, UEFA and FIFA, they, uh, they use slogans, fair play, respect. So we would like to see that FIFA pays attention to these slogans, to fair play and to respect. Because now what is, what is happening in Ukraine, there is no respect at all. It's a war, the, the innocent people uh, are being killed. So it's really hard to imagine that you can play with the team that represent the country who has such values that uh, for them people's life it's nothing so that's why we decided uh, that this is the it is the reason of our decision